Hello everyone and welcome back to Colony Wars. Last time we got absolutely wrecked. The base is in pieces. We have ships ripped apart. We have the laser orbital cannon destroyed. The rear end of uh, poor old Barry. Oh, Haram Barry's been ripped off. Nothing worse than having your rear end ripped off. That's horrible, isn't it, guys? Uh, <laughs> That's Kratz Hill, though. Uh, the welders not seen too well either. And uh, we reinstalled Finch's tank because it got eaten by the ground. Apart from that, as you can see, there's a lot of debris. A lot of ships took an absolute hammer in. And then when the voxel started to deform, it got even worse. So... A little bit of update. What's everyone to be working on today, apart from that miner, that well, that welder that looks absolutely out of control? Uh, I'm right. going to create welders for each wow. and every one of us. It, oh, very nice. Has anyone got anything interesting to show at the beginning of this episode that they have, we didn't see last time? Um, no. Okay, right. Everyone, get back, everyone get back to work. Reactors are down, awesome. lights are out, it's everything no. smoking. Now, I'm in debate about saving the rear of the, la the, the miner. Um, and maybe even affixating it to the back of Harambari or something. But, uh, we have enough resources to fix both of them. They're both on my list to fix at the minute. Because well, we I'd do like... have um, this fighter to take apart as well. We've also got a lot of requests to do, um, th you know, a 3D printing ship. Uh, mm. Some sort of way of 3D printing ships. But I don't know if it's worth getting our ships back fixed first and then looking at that. Uh, because we're missing at the back here. We've not the reactor didn't take any damage. Um, the other bit, I think we're missing. A, was it a med bay that was at the rear here? Or something else? Yeah, it was a med bay. Uh, there was a med bay, um, and then it's just building up the walls. All right. I've so, done most all the internal systems are back where they are. All right. So I need, I need to do the thrusters, the back section, and then the med bay. Right. Well, I'll so stick the med bay. Like the in. You, you want to drive, Ryan? Please. No, There's a lot of the laser ship alive, but we'll just we'll just see. I might need totally overhauling, you know, to get it up to um, health and safety standards. <laughs> Wait, you're supposed to have health and safety standards? Well, the car well, some health and safety standards clearly don't apply to you with your orders. Is, is that the book I was given that I threw away? <laughs> yeah, well, every, everyone should have received uh, on joining the drone army the health and safety manual. Ah. Is oh, that, I, I, what do you I, mean, I, joining the drone? Don't you mean hey, hey, when you hey, woke hey, up in the pod? Hey, what, you, when you woke up, you were a willing applicant beforehand. 100%. Yeah, what happened? You were, you were, I was thinking in terms of me and Max, yes. Yeah. You, you, were, you were all willing applicants. Um, I was a willing applicant. What's with this tattoo on my arm saying, death to the drones? <laughs> We, that was laser removed. So, so that, whatever you see in there is just a faint reminder of your past. You're probably <laughs> you're probably a prisoner w working, you know, and and that's just what happened. But you don't remember anything of the past, or else I'll stick you back in. Um, well, like, we might have to build another pod to brainwash some more people next episode. <laughs> I've been good. I've been good. Ten ten minutes at two thirty. That's the break. That's the that's the sort of heat that I put on for Wait brainwashing. Wait for it to bing. Yeah. I've just picked up some interior components. Or maybe I put them in the wrong bloody pot. So we were saying what about Fallout? The, the Fallout gameplay that they saw released. Was it three hours of it that was released? Three hours of it was released by various YouTubers and journalists. Because I started to watch a little bit of it and started to see how the weapons were crafted and whatnot. I don't I don't know. I watched that Oxhorn guy when it comes to yeah. Fallout stuff. Because he tends to... He, I like the way he narrates it. It's a very sort of comfortable... The, the law looks interesting, and that's what I do Oxon for, and then for everything else, it's many a true nerd. Both of their videos were very informative, and I've actually pre-ordered the game. What, because I've of what you saw? I need to check it out a little bit more. What did you see that you really liked then about it? Just the, the the story is actually quite interesting. You're basically following the overseer of the vault to the missile silos, and that's how they introduce them. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, what we've seen so far. So the, the missile silos uh, are part of the vault tech deal in this one? Or is I'm yeah. just throwing it off because I, I need to I need to watch it. I watched a little bit and I skipped through just to try to find um, the crafting, the weapons, and the general mechanics to see you know if I'd enjoy playing it. Because I always pre-order it in the end Fallout. I can't resist. Um, it it um, looks very similar to Fallout Four in terms of the crafting and the camp and all that. Oh, what's the hell going on? Could with this, this, could this become an Elder Scrolls Online all over again though? I hope not. 
Elder Scrolls. Uh, I don't. It, it it looks good. And uh, did you see the dragon? You've seen the dragon, not the dragons, but the, the things that fly. They're using definitely the using that sort of um, Skyrim type tech, aren't they? Yeah. What do you think? Should I refit the back of a Ramberry with heavy armor now? Now we've realized. Yeah, I think it would be wise. I'd say you do a mixture of the two. Make it groundproof. <laughs> Make it groundproof. I lost. Kill the damn grounders. Make and, it uh, impervious to the ground. Well, I've also got my prototype, which I've thought up, which is uh, my successor to Rodney. I've nicknamed it the Wolverine. Well, I've got some new drones as well, actually, saying about that. Some um, little dog like drones. We've got two. I've got two to build, and I'll, we'll build. We'll see if we can build a few of them, and maybe we could even have a go at um, pestering Jack on his little mission today mm. uh, with a few of them. Little woofer drones, I call them. They've got. Oh, they, 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 <laughs> did you see them? I don't know if you saw them in the video. Yeah. But yeah, yeah they're, so. they're, they're a tiny little drone, and they've, they pack a. Uh, there's one with an explosive payload. And there's one with just a little turret, so we'll be able to mix it up and cause some spicy damage. We get told off for not getting elite tools, but for what I'm doing, I don't really need the elite tools. I'm just literally cutting shaping it. Mm -hmm. And then once I've cut and shaped it, I can um, literally just call in the welder ship. Um, let's rebuild this and launch it down. Yeah, I was getting some comments that I've not been building enough this series. I've been spending too much time commanding and watching over you guys so the, that laser ship's the first build and it got whacked straight away <laughs> god that sucked yeah um what is this need this needs some interior but the thing is it's actually more or less intact that thing it is but it's just a lot there's a lot of damage onto it so i think i'm going to redo it and i'm going to turn it into a big dish that uh, a bit more protective all right yeah that's that's what my idea yeah. is it and you, you were saying before, BB, about some movie ideas, weren't you? We were talking about the airlock concept in the... Yeah, two two astronauts trapped in an airlock, time ticking down, oxygen running out. Will the crew rescue them? Yeah, they could do it from yeah. a different angle. I mean, they could be the two only two people on the you know the sh on the station or outpost or whatnot. Let's have a look at the conveyors. And, um, Ouch. Ooh, what was that? It's fine. What was Don't it? I side-strafed and got gravity assisted into a wall. <laughs> oh, not what good. Only minimal crash? damage. I only lost three thrusters, it's fine. Oh, I see. Only it's minimal damage. not too I bad. The ship. It's just it's new, it's new docking protocol. Right, movie ideas, guys, right? So, so far, we've got two astronauts in an airlock, not to be confused with a, a movie that's probably not too sanitary. <laughs> Um, <laughs> oh, old, old. Uh, oh, no, that sounds terrible. <laughs> things just be floating around. It'd be absolutely oh, horrible. My God. Um, anyway, oh, right. God, other movie are. ideas. Throw your movie ideas at us before we go off on one with that. Well, um, what sort of space movie would you do? Death, go on. Oh, with me, it would be a a political thriller or a a spy movie for me. I think. What, what sort of spy one, like, uh, with lots of different... You know, I like it when they have a, they build, like, a bit of a, you know, a galaxy up with different places they visit. Yeah. You know, like, um, like, different, like, with different towns and whole planets, like, there's a scabby sort of planet or, um, you know, like a dodgy planet where all thieves and them lot sort of hang out. It's like, say you take the Star Trek galaxy, for example, just cover the different spy organisations from there. That would be quite interesting. Oh, I think that actually probably probably attracts a lot of attention with that sort of concept. If you, it's just it's probably with a lot of these movies though, like that is, even though they have these side categories, it's getting you know someone to license it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anything Star Wars, especially, you struggle with licensing. Anyone got any other movie ideas? No. No. No movie. No, you never had a movie idea, really. I remember when I was nothing younger. To with, no, nothing to do with space. Well, okay, go on then. Go on with your nothing to do with space one. Uh, it's been a while since I've actually thought about <laughs> I'll, I'll, tell, I'll tell you, when I was younger, we did a PG Tips drug deal movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. It was, it, it was action. Oh, dear right. Lord. If, if I could find it one day, I'll release it on the channel. But basically, the phone it was recorded on got stolen. Uh, where are these thruster bits? Uh, well, basically, what happened, you know, we were in our mate's garden. And the, the, we had our unsuspecting emo friend, who was the drug dealer, um, and he had these PG tips, right? Um, if you don't know what PG tips are, they're tea bags. 
and, ba and basically Best yeah well the, and basically we're dealing out this box right and then where there comes me along fucking action man with an mp5 bursting out my friend's shed um <laughs> doing like this sort of whole stick it stick it up thing but instead of doing any of that i just blast the guy and uh, obviously <laughs> it cuts instantly you know to him falling back on the trampoline but it was no it was a good it was a good action movie definitely check it out when it gets in cinemas when, you know, I tell you, if you ever stole that Sony Ericsson phone back then and would have looked at some of them movies on it, they would have just thought, these kids, what are they up to these days? Something about stay away from batteries? I think Max said that. Hmm? No, sold it. Sold it. But what batteries? about reactors or batteries? Didn't you say... Yeah, I'm not doing any reactors. batteries anymore after the laser issue when I tried to launch that ship and it resulted to laser power. Well, not laser power. <laughs> imagine, la imagine taking off a ship with just lasers. <laughs> lasers. I'm quite excited for when we get the shield mod and we get out into space a bit. It's going to get very exciting. I just, want oh, this, yeah. I just want this first confrontation to happen. This Are there pirates? Russian pirates in space? Do we need well, to this was them? this was debated quite quite a lot and I'm honestly not too sure uh, we, I mean we met them they could be Russian space pirates the army of Putin yeah I mean I mean it's clearly not Jack's forces they were, I mean there's a lot of vodka going around that oh shit who just crashed oh my god oh no oh, Who, what that, was that? that was the that was the new welding ship that just like split in half where did it go Would it oh. fall into his side uh, dude I think <laughs> it Narrowly missed the tank. <laughs> yeah, it did flip it out. Oh, why are you it, building it directly above? That's insanity, sir. Because <laughs> normally, <laughs> normally I was the Haram barriers. Well, the oh, Haram barriers in for repair. <laughs> um, if you quickly help me up, finish this rear section, then we can get. Um, Jesus Christ! We can get it going. Yeah, that's way too close. That is yeah, honestly, that. you can't even fit a welder in the middle. So, just feel free, be careful, but just be careful. Oh, oh shit. Oh no! Damn it! You just I dropped it on the tank. Oh, the I tank! Yep. He just annihilated it. Uh, right, I, I wasn't anywhere near that. I don't know how that happened. Right, well, yep, it's, the tank is down again after Someone being fixed up. And I can't, what is going on over there? Right, well, what we're going to have to do is just take a breath, everyone, and go. Shit happens. Let's, um,. Let's use another connector and let's sort the tank out. Oof. You know, sometimes... Pebble's that... probably going to have to... Um... Sil Silver lining is that tank did take a good beating right there. Yeah, well, it, to be honest, it could just do with the turret being refitted to the top and a little bit of side armor. So it's not super bad. It's just it's got a, kind of got a ship on it. <laughs> it's not too bad. It's just missing most of the ship. All right, let's yeah, go. I'm trying to think I should have played in the test drive now. So how's how everyone feeling about um, now that we lost a few ships as well? About our overall strength? Was it the, mm. kind of the kick in the teeth we needed? You think? I don't know. I just think Maybe. it was too much of a kick. Fire to fight back. I think Jack is actually trying to kill us. That's what <laughs> I came out of that last episode. Really? You think that? I, I don't. I don't think he's trying to save us anymore. I think he's actually trying to kill us. I don't yeah. think Jack. You know. I think Jack knows that you. You. you you're not going to convert back now. Like you've got. You literally have a chip or something maybe implanted in your brain that even though you might remember things from the past. I don't think Jack cares. To be honest, I. I don't want to go back. Never going back. Nope. I'm not dealing Friends with that shit. For life. Yes. For God's sake. It's better than what they were. And the mental conditioning is working. Very well, it is death. No, I don't even need mental conditioning. It's better than what they were. Come on, death, you know this. It's hyper realistic. <laughs> right. Best thing we did was get captured. Yeah. <laughs> My brainwashing worked perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> it all went according to plan. Oh, steel grids. Is that welder ship about, Andy, or is it still being built? Uh, I'm building another one as we speak. Is there one about, though? My one is basically our uranium, so don't try and fly it for God's sake. We're missing it. We've got the arm a bit. Just need the metal grid in some areas. 
grab some metal grids. Oh no, it died epically. GG. I got your gravestone ready. What about a one life survival series? Oh, Even if you tripped dead. over and died, it counts as the end of the series. Yeah, that would just end Oh, there's a Henry in here! Hello. Who's, who's been building this? Oh, I saw a bit of this at the last episode in the secret bunker, didn't I? That would be me. Let's have a look around this. Ooh, it's, a, it's accurate to the model. Did you? Where, how did you, where did you find this old the blueprint? Um, it was in the uh, DRF archives under unfinished. On the unfinished, do not build category. It was. <laughs> it, it was just in the unfinished. The do not build category had quite a lot. I think of, it needs uh, a new color scheme though, because it's, it's just it's just not drone enough, is it? It, it needs a new color scheme. It also needs a bit repairing, as um, apparently it doesn't want to be the same. Max, why would it land there? Well, if I remember when I built this a long time ago, that I don't think the actual systems were plumbed in, so I don't know if you fixed that. I've already done that. I've already put the only thing that isn't plumbed in is the gallons. Spike guns could you move back a bit. Uh, well, very the... nice. No, I'm not there because it's uh, broken. I can't wait That's to test it out in battle. To be fair. <laughs> Do you want to give it a I'm test run? Go right ahead. I've, I've give it a test back. run. Is it armed? Of course it is. Really? It's got we've got rockets in. Um, it's got five rockets in each, and it's also got. Um, I wouldn't turn it Ooh! that way. About to. Did it blow up? No, as it got in in front of you, so it it's fine, was, Max. It, it was on that angle for a reason. There we go. You ain't even seeing me. I'm around. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you're out. Ooh, that shit. You know, being inside there is really like disillusional, right? All I'm up. gonna say is, you'll see. I think the button nine activates the large um, thrusters. Do that and just press forward, honest. Right, let's you'll take it for a test flight. Then it feels yeah. quite original. You say I think it, that's it, the it, tank repaired. You, you turn on the large thrusters, Aaron. Oh, you've um, got to turn them on. Yeah, I, I think I set them to nine. Oh yeah, I see, I see. So is this like a turbo boost or... Oh yeah, it's fast in it with them thrusters on. Oh yes. This is what I liked about it, it moves so fast in a straight line. But you just weren't very good at slowing. Uh, let's turn them thrusters off for a second. That was a good idea though, Habsy. Hmm. Most definitely. Hey, can someone uh, bring me... <laughs> you were messing with my camera though. I need to get you a little seat or something. Aaron, I'm taking a test drive. What off? If I was you, Aaron, I'd start slowing down about now because slowing down is not easy. Uh, I know how to slow down. Okay. You know how to slow down. You know how to slow it down. Thump. <laughs> I don't have to slow this thing. Move the caravan. Right. Who's who's test piling what? There's so many bloody uh, beacons test, everywhere. Testing out the rover, but it looks as though someone's got the steering or like, propulsion the wrong way. Oh, great. <laughs> Let's bring it down a little there bit. Yeah, I see the rover moving around. You see that, Habsy? You take over Commander Venry. A rare word that not many people hear me say, but since you built him, he is technically yours. You take over the Henry. Oh. What an honor. Oh, it's very tank like that. Low. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, no, my fuel's low. Critical. Yeah, it looks like a tank. It smells like a tank. Tastes looks like a tank. Like tastes like a tank, yeah. It is a tank. Ooh. Yeah. This thing float probably you name not. it Thomas. Any any finchy any adjustment on it? What any things you need fixing? Um, I've modified the propulsion because some clever person put it on reverse. Oh, okay. <laughs> not saying any names. There we go. Anyway, it was it's working. That's the important bit. Nope. Is someone scavenging the laser? Oh, that's gonna hurt. Nah, I'm after see how much I need to repair. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, right, let's get on with this little. Ah! 